So since I've a last week's video, there's been so much debate and comments and all sorts on my channel on that particular video on whether I should go monoshock or keep it twin shock. So far, I don't know, but today I'm gonna mock up an idea of what I think I'd like the bike to look, such as color schemes, shocks, um, ride height, seating position, all sorts. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna keep this intro short and sweet as usual. One thing I do wanna do, if I was to keep this twin shock, You've got this nice line that follows the tank from here and then along this bar here, then it kind of stops here. I think the culprit of the CX500 is this little hump. Um, I've seen so many builds with people actually molding the seat around it or actually creating a different bar that goes up here and filling up this. And I, I think that kind of takes away from that cafe race or that brat style look because you want the line to follow from your tank all the way through. So if I was to stick to twin shocks, what I might have to do is get this off, mold it round, and then readjust these, or replace these, on the back here somehow. So, so that's what I've got to think about if I do decide to go down that option. So whatever I choose to do, there's gonna be some cutting welding anyway. It has to be done. And also if I cut this off here, lift up the bike, your ride height is gonna be a bit further down. So with shorter forks, and a slightly higher back, it's hopefully going to level off the bike, so it doesn't look as much of a as much of an easy rider as as it does. So that's where I'll leave it for now, and let's see what I come up with. So as always, we'll start off with what the original bike looks like. It is a pretty bike, but in all honesty, it's not the look that we're after. So let's get rid of this. The first thing, you have to start with the frame, and I'm going to go for a red frame. I've thought long and hard about this, I was debating between a black matte frame or a really bright red frame and I think the option for this is definitely a bright red frame. I want this Cafe Racer build to stand out so what better way than creating a red frame. For the engine itself I've decided I'm going to powder coat the engine in a matte black so that's going to offset the, the really bright red of the frame against the engine and then I'm going to polish these little bits at the side. Which leaves the tank. What colour am I going to do with the tank? Usually with these builds, people will have a, have a black frame and then have a really bright, vivid colour on the tank. So it's the tank that stands out. But seeing as we've gone for a bright colour for the frame, I thought what better colour to use than just a white tank. Kind of offsets the red quite nicely and makes the red frame stand out. So the tank's going to hug over most of the frame, so you're not really going to see that much of it. But what you do see of the frame is going to be really awesome. So you've got this back section here and then you've got the little section at the front which just holds the front of the engine. So that's just a, a little splash of red coming in through there. Next to the forks, obviously I'm going to change these. The ones on the bike currently are just way too thin and they don't look nice at all. In fact, I don't think they even work on the bike. So what kind of shocks I'm going to go for, I've, I've no idea. I don't know whether GSXRs or CBRs would fit best. This is something that I'm going to have to look into myself. So for now, we'll just use any old forks that look nice. And I'm going to keep the, the front wheels the same, but obviously I'm probably going to have to change the discs to, to work with the calipers that are going to fit onto the forks. But you know what? Gold forks on a bike that's already colourful like this is not going to work. So silver forks, I think. Kind of puts the attention back onto the tank and the frame then. So rear shocks, monoshock or twin shock, still not decided yet, but at the moment I'm swaying towards twins, so let's slap some twins on there anyway. And of course it's going to have to need a rear wheel. One issue I've got with the CX500 frame, which is what I mentioned before, is this little hump at the back, this little wave, and you've seen so many builds of people customising their seats so that it hugs around the wave, but I really don't like this. So if I was to keep it twin shock, I'm going to have to change this. So by cutting that off and resetting it a bit lower down, it then allows me to put a really nice hoop at the back of the frame, but also lets me lift the back of the bike up so it gets this nice line running through. Looking at this as it stands now, those red shocks are a bit of an overkill. I do like those shocks on their own, but I think when you've got it against a red frame, if you've got it against a black frame, fair enough, but on a red frame, I think red on red is a bit too much. So let's flip this out. Let's put some black shocks on there instead. Of course, the muffler, silencer, whatever you like to call it. In the UK, we have to put a silencer on it. It won't pass its MOT, all its checks and everything. 
What you do with it afterwards is entirely up to you. You can take it off if you want. If you get stopped by the police, then obviously that's your own fault. Let's just slap a black one on there for now. I think chrome or silver or anything would be too much down here. We just want to keep all the sort of external items black and neutral, which is again why I've gone for this black or, or dark grey exhaust strap. Last, last is the seat. I'm going to go for a, for a seat that's in between cafe and brat. I want the seat cowl that the cafe style has, but at the same time, I don't want it to be another white element at the back of the bike. I don't want to bring more focus onto the back than what is necessary. So I'm going to go for this short brat style seat, which also has a leather cowl built into it, but it's not as big as the cowl that I've used on the Suzuki. And there you have it, my rough plan for the CX500. Oh, and just for good measures, I'm going to put a red stripe across that tank, just to give it a little something else. So there we have it. This is what I'm going to be doing to my CX500, I think. I'm still debating the whole monoshock, twin shock dilemma, but at the moment I'm swaying towards twin shocks. There's quite a lot of love for twin shocks out there, and I think if I was to create a twin shock that's different to what else is out there, this bike will look look really nice. And I think monoshock's just been been done a lot at the moment, especially on the CX500s. You've got you've got all these places selling selling monoshock kits and everyone's just doing it so why not go a bit different now why not break the mold and stick to a nice twin shock so that's it for now i'm going to be working on my bike this weekend so if you want to stay up to date with how this bike's looking and whether i'm going to achieve this actual look then subscribe and i'll have more videos later on next week